For this traceable, firstly, we need to go to the x. So for x in range from 0 to 3. So x will start with 0, then y. We go to y. For y in range is 0 to 2. So y is also 2. Then it says num. So num, so num will be an input. Because it's an input, we go back to the top of the question. It says the user will be entering the following data. So 15. Then we go to numbers x, y. So numbers x, y is equal to num plus 5, which is 15 plus 5, which gives us 20. Now we go back to the start of the loop. Now we're not going to go back all the way to the first loop because we're still inside the second loop. So the first loop, which is x, will stay 0. But then the y will go to 1. Then num equals int input. So num, the next input is 40. It's in the question. Then we got 40 plus 5. So we set that to 45. Now, because the loop finished is from 0 to 2, up to 2 but not including 2, it means we go back to the start of the first loop, which is x. Now x becomes 1, and then now it becomes 1, we start the second loop again. So the second loop will go back to 0. So 1, 0. Next input is 20. 20 plus 5, 25. Then x will stay 1, but this time y will increase by 1, because we're inside the inner loop now. The next input is 7. And 7 plus 5 is 12. Now x will increase to 2. And because we finished, we just finished the outside of the loop, well, the inner loop, now we're back to the 4x in range. Now it's 2, so we start a new loop for y. y is 0. Next input is 55, which gives us 60. 55 plus 5 is 60. 2, again, because x is staying there. But this time y will increase by 1, and the last input is 21, and 21 plus 5 is 26. And that's our final answer.